All right, we're over here at Steep Hill TV. This is a Tour de France Stage 5. We're going to go through here, Roger Cluj, and we're going to look at some of the vascularity, how lean some of the riders are. So look at Cluj. He's got that mature muscle, a lot of contractile tissue there. Um, for the TT, we have uh, Costa Roy. And so some of these photos are pretty amazing. Whoever took these did a good job. Uh, some rim brake riders here. So we see this here. He's the, the man of the day, the man of the match. Um, Tadej Pogacar, and he's on a rim brake, Cognago there, he's got some cheap, some cheap, uh, like tubeless rims there maybe, clinches even, don't look like tubeless, do they? Um, his position, he's sort of got a mid praying mantis position, it's not fully slammed, it's not fully up, it's sort of a mid-tier position, looks very comfortable, uh, he's got his neck down, head up, look at that, look at the vein, <laughs> look at that portal vein there. On his uh, on his neck, that is just pumping some serious blood volume there. You see his legs; he's not he's obviously not fat, but he's not uh, he's not shredded like we saw Bobby uh, Cluj. But yet, look at that. See, so he's not yeah, there's not much vascularity there. Yeah, the neck, the, <laughs> the neck vein is basically he's got all his vascularity in his neck. Uh, you can sort of see his diaphragm. Uh, if you if this was video, you'd see his diaphragm going in and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, but you can see the vascularity in the legs is there's not much. It's nothing out of the you know, it's nothing out of the usual there, but he's just super relaxed, taking the oxygen in, uh, pretty standard sort of TT position, sort of power meter, so it looks like he's going to power there. Uh, can we see any devices? Uh, is there any? Where's his screen? Is he even using a screen today? We're well, assuming he's pacing by power. Maybe he's just going by feel, but he doesn't have a power meter on there. So some of the drawing here. So look, the face. There's not much flushing going on there. Again, look at the legs. Like you wouldn't pick this guy as a total assassin on the bike he wouldn't he just, he just wouldn't but he obviously is um looking super <laughs> he looks like he's doing a warm-up he looks like he's doing an absolute warm-up here um and here we go we've got uh kung stefan kung he looks a bit more focused here a bit more you know a lot more lean there's a lot lower body fat there the the, va the vein isn't popping it from the neck as much um he's not wearing gloves was uh, so we got yeah this is this is it this is the margin again so TP is using gloves. Kung, no gloves. All right, so I think gloves are a fantastic idea because if you're GC riding right, you for the Tour de France, you got you want know, his palm skin ripped up. So Kung's face, obviously big mouth open there, get more oxygen in. You see he's, he's a lot leaner. He's a lot leaner uh, in terms of body fat, hydro, uh, water tension than um, Tadadaj is. And we've got Venegard here. Um, Looking quite pale, isn't it? It's just obviously lighting as well. Today's not the best day for a big tan, but these guys are pretty pale. You know, you'd think they'd be, have a bit more darkness in their skin for how much miles they do. This is you know, not being nasty or nothing here. I'm just saying. It's interesting how some riders tan up and some riders just don't. So Val Van Aert's really got that neck, the neck vein going on there. Oh, the blood pressure really pumping there. So you can see the stomach going in and out. And he's leaner. He is a lower body fat looks to, to be, and look at the face. He's, he looks like he's he aged, you know, 15 years in just a few days from this t the, the stress of the Tour de France. So you can sort of see the, last, the vascularity in the legs, sort of mid, mid level vascularity there. Not super ripped, not super bloated, but sort of in between there. Um, not as lean as I am, but a lot faster than I am. But you can sort of see that he's. You know, he's got the big deep creases in his face. His eyes look very stressed. He's 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 feeling it. He's feeling it. But he's still putting in a great, great time. His bike as well. This bike is so heavy, man. This this Cervelo will be, will be nudging, be, be nudging close to ten kilos. You know, close to ten kilos. Um, so he's got a setup that's not super super slammed. It's sort of mid mid level, not super good. And now we have the yellow jersey, Vanderpol. Looking leaner, he's got the gap there. When you have that gap, see that gap there on your hamstring, that's when you're getting leaner. Um, Vout Van Aert doesn't have that. He doesn't have that gap, but Van Der Poel's got the gap there. Uh, it's a thigh gap, the leg gap, lycra gap, hamstring gap. Got that portal vein in the neck there. Um, he's got some data there. He's playing back. Doesn't look like he's got a power meter on there, does it? Shimano power meter? Maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, going for it though, he really, you know, he's look at the leanness, very next level lean now. You know, look at the, the striations there. Full Natty Bride, Credible Hulk, going for the corners. Um, so look at the face. Now that is a seriously stressed out face. You know, he's really, 
you know, on the absolute limit here, just going for it, you know, going for it. So really putting all these bike handling skills in it, into the into the mix here. It's quite a wide tire in the front, isn't it? Quite a wide tire. Look at the look at that face. I haven't seen the face like that since Jan Ulrich or Bjarne Reese ninety seven tour. He's got all this mucus and snot on his forearm and legs, the veins popping out. So no gloves, doesn't care if he crashes and has beef jerky hands, he's just going for it. Um Askrand as well. Looking not so super fresh. You know, Tadej doesn't he looks the, the freshest. Roglic with all his missing skin, super lean. He's got the glad wrap skin going on there. So he looks like a a, a, a favourite as well in terms of conditioning, but again, very stressed face. Um Catania, you know, not super lean, but uh did a great ride. Richie Port looking very, very lean. Very, very lean. Uh, a lot of separation in the muscle. The calf point, etc. Face not looking super fresh, but not looking super tired. Just sort of looking looking how Richie Port looks. He's just he's got great condition for the uh the G C rolls there. So Richie Port definitely still a favourite in my opinion. And here we got uh, Bissinger, was it? That's an interesting helmet um style there. Got the, the hair coming down there. It's, 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 and this guy's looking thick. You know, this guy's looking thick. But it just goes to show you, you know, you have to be Ralph then to be in Tour de France. So amazing, you know, even his arms are quite quite big, sort of soft looking. Um again, not being mean or nothing, but you can sort of see he's got a bit of a rump. Baby got baby got some back. Um, and that's just yeah, that's what it takes, you know. Like everyone's thinking you're yeah, going to be super super skinny, but I mean, you got riders in the Tour de France who are, you know, they don't look um, they don't look uh, rail rail thin. All right, so don't ever people out there focus on your weight too much. Focus on your power output. You know, power is always number one. Right? Always number one. Power is what gives you Tour de France, not your weight. I was be at Tour de France. So. Um, Iran though, Iran, again, we'll go from opposite extremes, we've got probably the heaviest looking rider to the, you know, one of the, the skinniest, emaciated looking riders, and look at the, look at the muscle there, just just all sucked away, you know, all sucked away after the legs there, Julian Alaphilippe, also a very, very lean rider, uh, we have Garen Thomas, sort of mid-tier leanness, not super ripped, not super water attentive, but still very lean, the face looks a bit cold, purple lips, looks like it's been a bit of a tough day for Garen Thomas, I mean, the photo, just one photo can't really say for sure, but could be the lighting, but it doesn't look um, to be on top of his form potentially. But hey, it's still early days, who knows. Perez, he's got the tan line going on there, he looks got the, the deep cuts in the calves and the, and the quad separation there, so he's looking, he's got the zygomotia in the face there, the cheeks, he's got the fish lips going on, cat, catfish lips. So he's obviously in peak form, uh, Perez, but he does look pretty thrashed. And it's only day five. Right? Day five. Carapaz, one to watch, one to watch. Uh, Fool's Gang, you've got the, the phlegm, the mucus there, looking pretty lean. He's on that high carb, low fat thing as well. Um, looking in, in the, looking, looking, still looking pretty fresh. Thomas de Ghent there. Um, that's a good shot there in the in the rain. Chris Froome. Um, so look at today. Yeah, look at this face here. Just yeah, looking a little bit. Tiredness for the preparation for a 22 year old. He's 22, he's young, and he, and Vanderpool, so he's just finished school for the day. Look at this look, So, Tadej, his eyes look very clear. Um, he still has that innocence look about him. You know, he, if I look at that, I see an athlete who's not even close to their reserve yet. So, I see a very, very fresh looking athlete. Was this before or after the TT? Uh, it could have been after because the collar's looking a little bit stretched out. Um, a bit dirty on the zip there. Maybe this is after, but there again, the sunnies look look super super clean. So this could be mm, before or after. I would say yeah, it could be either. Couldn't it? It could be either. Um, but either way, we're going to see an interesting Tour de France. But yeah, the, my, my money's on this guy here, Tadej. Um Let's have a look at the crease here. This could be after actually, because he's wearing those sunnies after the crease here. He's got that jersey on. So I reckon this is going to be a, uh, it just looks like an aftershot. This looks like aftershot based on the crease of his hat there and the crease of his mask. It does it does appear to be an aftershot of the TT. So it's just destroyed the Tour de France field by a gap of 18, 19 seconds and still looking relatively fresh. So he's definitely going to be the man to beat. And you know what? He doesn't even need to ride the rim brake bike this year. He's so far beyond the rest. 
he can afford to give his competition a bit of an advantage by also choosing to make it fair and ride a disc, ride a heavier bike, a disc brake bike. You know, I don't think it'd be very fair for Tadej at the moment to ride a rim brake bike because he's clearly well above everyone else. So it'd only be fair if he sticks to his heavier uh, Colnago disc brake bike just to make it, you know, give the other riders just a bit of a chance to to hold the world a bit, a little bit longer. That is stage five highlights, stage six, coming soon.